Welcome guys to Shakespeare's Sonnet. Today we're doing Sonnet number 128. Let's get this started with how often sound my music, music playlist, upon that blessed wood whose motion sounds. With thy sweet fingers when thou gently swayest, the wine reconquered that mine ear confounds. Do I envy those jacks that nimble leap to kiss the tender inward of thy hand, whilst my poor lips which should the harvest reap at the wood's boldness by thee blushing stand. To be so tickled they would change their state and situation with those dancing chips, o'er whom thy fingers walk with gentle gait, making dead wood more blessed than living lips, and give them thy fingers me thy lips to kiss. And let's just explain this on and off real quickly. This is basically saying that, okay, so I'm right here. Um, I think that you are beautiful whenever you play that music. Whenever you play that specific kind of music, that you are very, very beautiful. It sounds very beautiful. It sounds awesome. The only problem is, I just think that you're playing the wrong notes. Like, it sounds like music... But then again, it just sounds like eh kind of music. Let's just explain this in further detail. How often sound my music music playlist upon that blessed wood whose motion sounds? Your music, it sounds so great. It also sounds awesome if you kind of think about it. Mainly because whenever you play those wooden keys on that literal wooden keyboard, it makes a literal melancholy. It makes melancholy. Problem is... Now you go ahead, and since you use those sweet, sweet fingers, when you go ahead and gently press those keys, like sway is like that, the wire conquer that my ear confounds. The only thing that actually goes ahead and confounds my ears is that you went ahead and for some reason you took off the little piece that you would normally go ahead and keep the jacks, like the things at the back of the piano, which make the sound, fly out of the instrument. So you have to you force yourself to go ahead and lean over to go ahead and examine your work. Examine your work and also put your fingers on top of the jack so that, boop, they don't just come out flying out. What's my poor lips which should that harvest reap? Well, how your poor lips to go ahead and then I have to leap. I, I'm just thinking that means singing. Well, I should be singing the wood's boldness by the blushing stand. The wood goes ahead and does a way better job by going and flying to the other side of the room and making a bang sound that actually sounds like music. And situation with those dancing chips. And with my situation with those, like, dancing chips. And I try to be myself transformed into those wooden keys, because I sort of envy those wooden keys as well, too. Why? Because they make music way better than my mouth can. At least that's what I get from this. And I just wish I could turn into one of them as well, too. I could go ahead and do anything if I do, and mainly because they're so happy to be touched. They're so happy to be touched and make music. But then again, since they're happy to be touched, go ahead and give them your fingers. But don't give them your lips. Give them to me for me to kiss. Well, yeah, that's Sonnet number 128. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you guys soon. Until next time, Shinana, peace. Bye-bye. How oft, when thou my music placed upon that blessed wood whose motion sounds, with thy sweet fingers, when thou gently swayest, the wiry conquer that mine eye confounds. Do I envy those jacks that nimble leap to kiss the tender inward of thy hand, whilst my poor lips which should the harvest reap at the wood's boldness by thee blushing stand? To be so tickled, they would change their state in situation with those dancing chips, o'er whom thy fingers walk with gentle gait, making that wood more blessed than living lips. Since saucy jacks so happy are in this, give them thy fingers, me thy lips to kiss.